first wanted to recognize that we respectfully acknowledge that we are on the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisage Anishinaabeg. We offer our gratitude to the First Peoples for their care and teachings about our earth. May we honor these teachings. <laughs> Welcome to Mad Science with Atlas. This week's camp theme is Animal Kingdom. So today we are going to be learning about a butterfly's life cycle, as well as making our own butterflies out of chromatography. Butterflies go through a metamorphosis, or transformation. A butterfly looks very different as it changes through all four stages of its life cycle. A butterfly transforms through four different stages. The first stage is an egg. The second stage is larva third stage pupa, and fourth stage is an adult butterfly. The first stage is an egg. Butterfly eggs are usually found on or near the leaves of plants. Each egg will hatch and transform into a single butterfly. Butterfly eggs are small. The second stage, the larva, or caterpillar, begins when a tiny worm-like caterpillar hatches from the butterfly egg. Caterpillars can be smooth or hairy. They can also have colorful or plain skin. Caterpillars begin just a little bit larger than their egg. They don't stay this small for long. This is because caterpillars eat and eat and eat. A caterpillar eats so much it grows a hundred times its original size. The third stage is the pupa. The pupa stage begins when a fully grown caterpillar has eaten enough food to transform once again. During this stage, the caterpillar hides inside a pupa or chrysalis. This is a protective shell that keeps the caterpillar safe while it changes into an adult butterfly. A chrysalis is similar to a small house. It keeps the pupa warm and makes it more difficult for intruders to disrupt the last transformation. The last stage is an adult butterfly. Once the butterfly is ready to emerge, the case around the pupa splits open. But it's not time for takeoff just yet, as the wings are at first wet, soft and wrinkled against its body. The butterfly waits for its wings to dry before it can take off. Here are some fun facts about butterflies. Did you know butterflies actually taste with their feet? Butterflies live on an all liquid diet and drink from mud puddles. And butterflies can't fly if they're cold. In this science Experiment, we will be exploring chromatography, which is the separating of mixtures. We'll use coffee filters to separate the various pigments and markers to see how each color was created. For this activity, you will need some white coffee filters, some pipe cleaners, some string, some water and a few glass jars or cups, some scissors, and some washable markers. Start with one coffee filter. Put it on a newspaper or some kind of material to protect your table. Draw thick circles of different colors around the center of the coffee filter. Once you're done the thick circles, fold the coffee filter in half and then in half again resulting in a cone shape. Get a short glass of water. Pull apart the cone shaped coffee filter so it balances right on the glass with the tip of the cone just touching the water. Be sure not to let the marker circle go in the water, just the uncolored tip of the coffee filter cone. Let it sit and watch what happens as the water begins to flow up the paper. After the water has reached the outer edge of the coffee filter, place it on a newspaper to dry. Pick the colors.
color of pipe cleaner that goes well with the colors of your butterfly. Cut the pipe cleaner in half. Scrunch up the middle of the butterfly and wrap the pipe cleaner around the center like an antenna. Tie the string to the center of the butterfly and then you can hang your butterflies up in your house. making your own chromatography butterflies as well as learning more about a butterfly's life cycle. I'd love to see your butterflies on Facebook or email. I'll see you next time in the science lab. Bye for now!